Well, hi everybody! In this video, I'm going to be making an easy to do party banner using Canva. You can also resell it or you can use it for your own party. And this is a totally customizable banner. And you can actually, you know, sell the template and have people customize it with their own kid's name or their name or just whatever. So let me go ahead and share my screen. We'll get started. So this is Canva. I created a new document. So I, what I did that was I went to um, document US letter and create a design and then it made this. So I'm going to call this uh, party birth. I'm going to call it party banner template. And then you go to elements and you go down to frames. And you see this triangular frame, you click that. And then go to view, file, view settings, show margins. So we want to keep the, it in the margin. So this will be the frame for our party banner. And let's put some instructions up here. Instructions. Cut, cut out the banner. I say print, print, print out the the pages. Cut out, and I'll guess cut out the banner. Cut out the banner on on each each page. Get a a ri ribbon, yarn, or string. Tape, tape the the banner inner triangles to the string on the back. Hang up your your banner. Okay, so these would be the instructions. So what they, they got to do is they cut it out, and then they could uh, hang it up. So let's put the instructions here. And we can just put the instructions on like the first page of it. This will be like the template. So this is the banner. Then we can um, go to Create a Fabrica. We can find some really pretty digital paper. So I'm going to search for, um, I think, um, I'm going to search for party digital paper. And Crave Fabrica, you can get a subscription. Like I have a subscri subscription, so I only pay like $9 a month. But it's not, I th think it, it might be more. But on Black Friday, they always have like a, like a deal. So you might want to check. And every so often, they have a deal too. So you might want to sign up for their email list. So you can be notified when they have the next deal. So then we got this watermelon one for summer, like a summer party. That might actually be cute, like a summer. This is by Digital Curio. She's a really good seller on various platforms. Like she's on um, Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, and, and I know she sells on Etsy. Like she has these really cool digital papers. So we're going to go ahead and download this. I think it'd be cute to like a summer watermelon party. And let's download. And, then, and these are all the papers. And let's put the it here on desktop so I can get to it easily. Let's go back and let's go to uh, upload and we're going to upload the watermelon paper. So there's different designs. That's actually cute. Let's put, use that one. So once you upload your design, you drag it into the um, the template. So now you you have this um, this banner, and you can and then once they print out, they can cut around it, and then they put it on a string and connect all the banners together. And you can also um, find digital papers. So you go to photos, and then we could search for. Um, the digital, if you don't want to go to Creative Fabrica, 
digital paper. And we can see some, there's like some uh, images here. Or you can search textures. And we've got some images there. Just whatever, you know, so it's, that could be pretty. And then you can also um, do it, so we'll duplicate. You can also have like another, like another idea is to make the size this big. Like that way um, it might be a little bigger. Like another size, if you want like a, a bigger sized, see that, that's like a little bigger. Possibly go a little outside the margin for that. So you can have like one that's a little bigger if you want. You can like size it up, you know? So you can maybe offer like different sizes. Like that might be a good marketing technique to deliver different sizes. They can just pick which size they want to use. Like if they want a small one, maybe a small one and a big one will look cute. Like this could be like a small one above it. They can do like a small one and then above and then below they can do the bigger one, you know? Let's go to uploads and get see some more really cute papers. Like this one's cute. Let's put this one. You see, we can just do different ones. And then we, we can also put letters. So we can actually do the alphabet on every single one. So you go to um, text, that way they can print out and do their own lettering. So you would go to um, say A and make this really big. brush font use a lift tool then we can turn it now so now you can just duplicate this and go to A to Z you know you just duplicate that and the same for this one I recommend giving blank ones if you're going to sell it on Etsy or another platform. Give them blank, blank ones and then also give ones with the letters on it. Like that could be for the small one. Yeah, it's just a really cute idea to make these banners. So let's, um, we can also, you know, spell out happy birthday too if you wanted to. You can like do like H, H, A, yeah, P, P, and then um, Y. Yeah, then you can put birthday. So right now they, they can print out and be happy birthday. Or you can do the do it from A to Z, so you can do every single letter, and you can also do numbers. So maybe um, there could be, or and also I also recommend doing ST. So you can do like ST, and that looks like this. So um, let's make a new duplicate, and let's go to just do like S, ST. So they can have uh, one that says like the number, and then first birthday, first, and then birthday, and then you can also do um, TH. So if it's um, set or, or ND for second, like if they have a second birthday, put the ND there too. That would be a good idea. So STND and TH and RRD, like RD, and then do another one that's like TH. And then you, of course, you put the numbers, and then the number, the, the number banner will go next to it. So it'll be like first birthday. So I'll show you what I'm talking about some more. So let's do a duplicate, and let's do it like at one. So now the banner would be first, like that, you know. That way they can customize it some more. That way you don't have to go like first and then second for everything, and then do the numbers as well. Like that would save you a lot of time when you're making this. 
it's really cute. So then you could just keep going and do all the numbers with this banner. And then they could get like a strain and then they would go and tape the, the, um, the pages like on it. Once they cut it out, they would tape it and then it could make a big banner all across their room. Because, you know, banners are expensive. Like, the only, you can usually customize banners even more money. So, they would definitely want to buy this, you know, on Etsy. So, let's look on Etsy to see if anybody's selling these banners. So, we can see, get some ideas. So, so um, party banner printable. See, look, like custom banner here. And they could um, edit it, and it's like a large banner on paper. You could possibly even um, resize this to like um, U.S. legal paper to make it even bigger if you want. If they have like a printer that prints out legal, but most people have a printer that prints out U.S. letter size. But if they're overseas, then they might have A4 printer. So just resize it accordingly to your audience. And this one has like some foliage, and this one lo looks like a baseball party. It's like a different shape. And this one, it also has a different shape. There's also other shapes, not just triangles. So let's go ahead and look to see what other shapes we could possibly get. So you go to the grids, not the grids, the frames. And then you look through here. You can even do, do like triangle like this one. You can do like cir circular ones, like diamond shaped banners. I mean, a diamond shaped banner might look really cute. And these are all the letters. You can also do the, do it so it, it's like this. So let's duplicate that. If you want the letter to also be a pattern, so then we go over here and we put B. And let's go to uploads and get some other paper. Like these polka dots. And we can put that inside and then turn it. And you see, isn't that cute? So you can also do this too. Instead of just the letters, you could like do these. Because these are frames and you can also, um, yeah, yeah, you can also just put whatever frame you want for the banners. Like even has all the numbers too. So you can include the numbers if you wanted to. And there's just several different frames like this one could possibly be used too, like a diamond shaped. I'm trying to see if there's any of that, that flag look. I think this one might look good too. It's whatever shape that you think would that you think would be good. Look, a heart shape for Valentine's Day. You could do like a heart shaped banner. Like that would look really cute. Let's try that out. And if you want to um, put this on top, you go to position to front. And then we can go up to uploads and we can upload some more of those papers. Yeah, see, now they can have that. And we can go to edit photo and shadows and we could actually do a drop shadow on that just to move it up a little bit so it's like oh it's like more it's like further from the back or like some depth and we can just keep looking to see what other shapes of banners we could possibly do in canva and there's even some fancy letters too there's just so much you know Just keep looking like that one could, could work too. There's like that one could work. Yeah, so just, just keep looking to see what kind of frames you might possibly want to put in there for your shapes for your banners. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please email me at Becky at PLRBeach.com or comment below. 
Hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you'll subscribe and like this video. Goodbye!